On the night of Thursday, October 10th, Hurricane Milton hit the U.S. state of Florida. It killed at least 10 people and injured others. This was reported by CNN. According to the U.S. National Hurricane Center, Milton made landfall near Siesta Key in Florida. By now, it has been reclassified from the fifth to the third category of danger, with wind speeds of 190 kilometers per hour. At the same time, it will continue to create life-threatening storm surges, heavy rains, and destructive winds. Almost two million people living in the cities of Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Clearwater have been warned of possible flooding. We have received six to 12 inches of rain. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin soon. Life-threatening flooding will inundate urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses, the Tampa National Weather Service warned. According to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, at least 19 tornadoes have been confirmed in Florida and 116 tornado warnings have been issued across the state. It's too dangerous to evacuate safely at this point, so you have to shelter in place and just sit tight, he said. Later it became known that more than 1.1 million homes and businesses in Florida were left without power as a result of the hurricane. The number of outages is expected to grow as the tropical storm's winds move deeper into the state. Play video. In the city of St. Petersburg, almost 23 centimeters of rain fell in three hours. This is the three-month average rainfall for the city. At the same time, Tampa has been declared at the highest level of flood danger as it received 25 to 35 centimeters of rain. According to the U.S. National Hurricane Center, after Milton Center made landfall, it was reclassified as a Category 2 hurricane.